everybody and welcome back to Frugal Finds. It's been a minute. So I not only have a small haul for you of what I bought for my friend's birthday at Dollar Tree, but a small life update. So it's been about three or four months since my last video. And since then I have sold my house um, and the closing date is October 1st. It took me forever to find a place to rent after I sold my house. Now I had a condition on the sale of my home that I needed to find a place in order for the sale to go through. But they only gave me two weeks to meet that condition. So once the two weeks was up, I decided to drop the condition because I didn't want to lose the sale of the house. Um, looking back, I do regret that because then I would have had more time to find a place to rent without stressing out and I'm sure I could have found another buyer for the house. That being said, I got scammed $1,900 by somebody who took a deposit for the house and then never sent a rental agreement and ghosted me for a week before he replied and he did say that he would send it back within a week but he never did so i called the bank today to um, open an investigation for theft and we will see how that goes that being said i did scramble enough money together to pay deposit on another house um so that's going to be a two bedroom one bathroom one and a half story house it's about the same size if not a little bit smaller than the house i'm moving out of um, but right now I'm renting out my basement, so I will be free of having to do that, which is great because he makes noise all the time and my dog barks at his dog and it's just too much. So uh, let's get into this haul. I did find some birthday items for my friend as well as a few other things. I spent just over, just under $30, so $28. Now just a reminder that this is a Canadian Dollar Tree haul, so every item is a dollar fifty, and that's about a dollar American. So <clears throat> the first thing I got were these dark blue gift bags. Now I got these for her gift because it's sort of going to have a gothic theme, even though that was unexpected. Um, because the first thing I picked out for her, excuse my reach. I need to have a table in front of me, was this um, skull, black skull muck for $1.50. Like I was just at HomeSense, which is like a winner's, like winner's, it's called Winners in Canada, which is like a TJ Maxx. So it's like, like a TJ Maxx. And a mug like this would have been like $12 there. It was $1.50. Let's see on the bottom, it looks like it has that Royal Norfolk that their other dishes there have. So I got her this and then I wanted to stick with sort of that dark theme. I know you can see this down here, which is actually not part of the gift, but I'll get into that in a minute. So her birthday's in September, but of course they have all of the Halloween stuff out. So I couldn't help myself. I got her <clears throat> this larger box. Now it says at the very top, purity, healing, balance. Then it says, true and revealing. Are you a good or bad witch? The mystical secrets of light and dark magic, ambition, power, and vitality. Now they had these last year. It's strange because this they have like a smaller size, but it's the same price as the big one. And I think they're supposed to look like books. This is really cute. I don't think this mug is gonna fit in here, so that's why I got the gift bags, but let's see. It's, I might be able to sort of stretch it to fit. It does actually fit, but then I won't be able to put the other things in it, so I think I'll just put this in the gift bag. And then I got her the Marshmallow Peep Ghosts and the marshmallow peep pumpkins so those can go in here and that will look really darling then i also got her this black sequined notebook just to stick with the theme by jot it's got 70 sheets so i'll stick that into the little box as well and then i got her this really pretty decorative clip. 
Now I'm just going to pin that on the box to dress it up a little bit. So let's see if I can do that now. And I figured I would just put it like on the side like that. And then I'll have the black tissue coming out the top. So then I also got her a, where are they? This is my Dollar Tree bag and I love this little lemon print. It's just the cutest thing ever and it's really big. I think they still have them in stock there. So here's the black tissue. So I also got her the Lisa Frank stickers that I'm absolutely obsessed with. They still have these there. You get 600 stickers and these are straight from the 80s guys. I love these now. Look at the stickers. They're so psychedelic, I just can't get over it. And they have different ones in there for Christmas and Halloween, all for $1.50. If you look on eBay, people are selling like Lisa Frank stationery and portfolios from the 80s for like 20 bucks. If you ever see vintage Lisa Frank stuff at the thrift store, grab it. I got her some eight flavor gummy bears. I don't know if you guys have these in the States, but they are so good. And the flavors are mango, pear, black currant, blood orange, crimson cranberry, Fuji apple, pineapple, and raspberry. And I've had these before. I don't know if she likes gummies, but they're gonna fit nicely in that little box with the stickers. And then I got her this, which is funny because I texted her to say where are we going out because she had told me before that she was meeting some people at eight o'clock at a restaurant and I was working till 10 so I thought we could go out after and then she didn't even answer me and then today she texted me to say she was just in bed so this says I can still party till the cows come home as long as they come home by around 9 p.m. it's your birthday party till nine ish so true She's a little bit younger than me and I'm 42. So um, that's what I got her. So the card and the stickers, gummy bears, the notebook, um, the peeps. So it's just a nice little gift for her that I'll put in here with the mug in the bag. And then along with that, I picked up a refill of these Crafter Square tear off palettes. Now, if anybody is a painter or does crafts, these are amazing. They're almost like a wax paper and you just use this as your palette and then you tear it off when you're done. So you wouldn't tear it off beforehand. You would just put your paints on here, use it as a hard surface and then tear that off. So I've seen these at like Michaels and stuff for much more money. Then I got three of these sugar skulls. So there's the girl with the rose in the hair, which I thought was super cute. I got two of those. And then I got one of the male with a little top hat. So I am going to paint those up. And I also got two of the little lunch bags. Back to school's here and day one of school, we couldn't find a lunch bag, so here we go. I think these are a great deal for $1.50. They're insulated. Um, the only thing is the Velcro has come off in the past. This one, you can see it's kind of coming loose, but I just glued it back on with hot glue and it was fine. So that is my haul and life update for today. I hope you guys are doing great. And I do plan on posting again soon. Don't be afraid to hold me to that. And in the meantime, everybody, I hope you're well. And don't forget to stay frugal.